Okay, this is a short tutorial showing you how to install DB2 Express C on Ubuntu 10.04 Desktop Edition running on a virtual machine in VirtualBox. So um, let me start up my virtual machine. Login. And the first thing you need to do is to install the drivers to allow you to share folders between your host machine and your guest operating system. So to do that, go to Devices and click on Install Guest Editions. And we just check if that's uh, working. Yeah, so Guest Editions is mounted. Just click on that and um, click on Auto Run .sh. Double click on that. Alternatively, you can also put the db2 uh, install files in a thumb drive and um, use a thumb drive instead of doing this shared folder around. That might be a little bit easier. So now that we've installed the um, additional drivers, I'm going to share a folder from the host machine. And, uh, with that, I need to click on devices and then shared folders um, click on the add folder icon and other and in this case um, my files are located inside downloads under my account um, so I'm going to share my downloads and I'm going to name that as native downloads um, click OK and click OK and we have to mount that as a drive in in the Ubuntu system so I use um, I use command line for that and I need to create a mount point um, directory, so I call it temp shared folder, and we'll do a sudo mount minus t v box as f uh, native downloads. Um, oh, hang on, I need options. I need several options to get the right permissions. Um, v mode directory mode equals to zero seven five five. Comma F mode equals to zero six four four. Native downloads mounted onto ten SF. We prompted for password and we're done. Now temp SF should have everything in my um, downloads directory, which is a lot of junk. Um, uh, first thing I like to do is copy the db2 file from uh, okay, sorry, 10s f db2 
to to a directory inside your uh, in the guest operating system. Let's just use the current folder for now. And you can skip this step if you want. You can just untar it inside uh, the current directory. Um, use the following tar commands to untar it. And um, before we install, we do need an additional library. Um, and let me get the command for that. Um, we need an additional library called do an app get for that. Install with AIO dash develop. Yes. And like that. And now we can go inside the directory that we unzipped and um, do a well, what do we do? A sudo. Pp2 setup. So what we want is to install the product and we do it install new. Bring the screen high up so you can see the PV2 window. So click on next. Accept. Next. Do a typical install. Um, doesn't matter whether you pick the first one or the last one. Take the defaults. Um, use a decent password. I'm going to use. Um, anyway, you pick your own password. In general, you should let it create your own uh, its own account and create its own instance. And db2 fans one. And click finish. Pause the recording until the next step. Okay, if everything installed correctly, um, this should be the final screen. Say setup has completed successfully. Do not worry about post install step. Um, just do note that the port number for DB2 ins one is fifty thousand. Recorded. Uh, you will need that when you do. Um, database programming. Click on finish and you're done. Um, and that's all for this tutorial.